Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. So today, we are going to try and finish up this weed harvest here, uh, and see if we can't get it all finished up, and uh, get some, get our equipment uh, put away and ready to work on corn and soybeans, well, spraying our corn and soybeans anyways. We're gonna have to do that first. But, uh, still got some field work left to do here. Uh, in our wheat field first. So, but, uh, we're gonna try and finish this up today. And, uh, see if we can't get things wrapped up. Hoping that we can. Maybe by the end of the week, we will be just about done with harvest. <laughs> um, kind of crazy to think that in about three weeks, we've gone through spring tillage, spring planting, spring um, fertilization, hay making. Um, we've gone through our summer uh, fertilization, our summer harvest. Uh, fall harvest it's kind of crazy to think of all the stuff that we'll have done in three weeks I guess kind of I mean it is to me um, I mean kind of sad to say but I think this is the longest that I've had a series go for <laughs> um, video wise except maybe my dad's farm series maybe that series kind of continued on about this long or longer but uh I don't remember anymore it's been so long since I've done that series or even seen that map um so I would not have the slightest of clue uh slightest of clues as to how long that thing went uh if you've been watching since the dad's farm series uh then more power to you. Uh, you've been you've been around for quite a while. I know I have a lot of viewers that have been around for quite a while, and uh, it's awesome to see that you guys are still hanging in and still watching. And, um, always appreciate the uh, viewers that I have. Uh, I don't know if I've said it before. I maybe I have, but. Uh, I'm super grateful for 3,000 subscribers, although now I'm like 3,100 or something like that, I think. I don't know, it's, it's incredible um, just how much my subscriber count has gone up lately, and um, it's, it's amazing, and uh, I'm super happy about it. Dang it, I'm getting a little bit off here keep keep this straight as I can there we go but uh, yeah so uh, it is really amazing I know I've I've said this many times and I can't say it enough uh, I'm just amazed at how far this channel has come uh, I mean when I first started this thing it was making a video of my, I think I had three different sizes of farm toys. Pretty sure I had like 116, 132, and 164. Uh, all crammed into my room, all in a big setup. Everything, you know, was set up a certain way. Uh, and I do still have my 164 scale stuff. Uh, I just, I haven't touched it in ages. Um, uh, one of these days I'll mess with it again maybe. Uh, I've had a lot of people request that, you know, I do another farm toy update, but there's nothing to update because literally nothing has changed since the last time I did a farm toy update. Literally nothing except a couple of things got knocked over um, because I was moving stuff, you know, that was behind them and whatever. So, um, but I am going to mess with stuff. Uh, I need to get, like, the combines and trucks uh, put in the yard. 
because, <clears throat> um, well, I guess the combines wouldn't be in the yard, but the get the augers set up and stuff like that because it is wheat harvest time uh, in this area. So, but uh, I do want to build a display. I still do want to do that. Uh, I just I don't have the space to do that. I don't have anywhere to put it uh, to build it right now. But I do, I really badly want to build a display sometime in the future. Um, that is, that is my goal. Uh, build a display and take it to some farm toy shows. Maybe like the Dyersville, Iowa show or uh, something like that. Uh, I would really like to do that someday. But like I said, I just, I don't have the, uh, the space to put it anywhere right now. So... I guess I'll just have to kind of keep dreaming of it. But, uh, like I said, I do really want to build one someday. Not sure when. But... It would be kind of cool to build a display based on our farm. I think that'd be pretty neat. It'd be pretty fun to do, actually. Actually, that idea literally just came to me. I had never thought of that before. That would be a that'd be a pretty fun idea, actually. I'd have to make a couple of buildings. In fact, probably all the buildings, but. It wouldn't probably wouldn't be too hard to do. I've made buildings before; they didn't turn out the greatest, but I also wasn't like basing them on any certain buildings or anything like that. But uh, I mean, they did turn out okay. Like my uh, shop that I built, just that was a long time ago too. Um, uh, the machine shed that I built. Or I guess more so the workshop, I guess is what it is. Uh, more than a machine shed, but I built that. That was been a few years now. But uh, I built that. That didn't turn out too bad. Uh, I built a... I took a birdhouse kit and made a farmhouse out of it because it was missing pieces. And I used some of the pieces to build other things on it. I didn't... For being a birdhouse, it didn't turn out too bad, I guess. Um, but I had, I did start. If you guys remember, I did start a um, making a farmhouse, but I still have yet to complete it. Um, I haven't worked on it in a long time. I just never really, I don't know, had the ambition to, I guess. Um, but I did actually buy uh, a jigsaw not long ago because uh, I'm building a uh, bucking barrel uh, for in my yard. Just something to, something to mess around on. Um, something, to, something to do when I get bored. Because, uh, I mean, I got a roping dummy right now. So I mess with that sometimes. But I think it'd be fun to have like a bucking barrel type thing and basically it's going to be kind of like a rocking chair design uh, it's going to have the rockers so basically it's just going to be me leaning forward and backward that actually moves the barrel um, and then it's going to have a 55 gallon drum mounted on top and it's just going to be plywood and uh, a couple of 2x4s um that's all you know I bought a four foot by I think it was a four by four sheet of plywood or something like that I don't remember I bought a sheet of plywood and then two eight foot two by fours um, because my stepdad came up with a little design for for this uh, barrel idea and so he knew kind of knew what materials we needed for it and uh, 
so he made a list of it and then I went and purchased the things that we needed and then uh, well I've got just the wood I don't have any of the things that we need to like mount it I didn't buy any screws or anything like that uh, I haven't worked on it yet I haven't really had time um, to work on it at all and then uh, I've seen a listing uh, of somebody that has a bunch of 55 gallon drums for sale for like five bucks each so uh, gonna have to contact that person at some point and uh, see about getting one but uh, yeah so if we were running east or east west right now or if we were running north south but, uh, we are running north south currently and we should fill this combine at least once more off of this little section or well like fill fill it the rest of the way uh, I don't think after we fill it that we will have, that we will fill it again, but. So there is 75%. Uh, So it's not quite going to be all that full. And we're only uh, about 13 minutes in with the video already and we're just about done with our harvest. So there's another 80% deeper. Take a moment here to shut my door. Because I can hear that the rest of my family just came home. Alright, yeah, we're just about uh, done with our harvest here. thumbnail picture here actually take it from right here this side of the combine fill our wagon and then we'll have a have a little bit of room left in it or, uh, or a little bit of grain left in the combine is what I mean. Alright. So 
let's go ahead and get this filled up and we can get this unloaded <clears throat> this does that, I need to get a drink of water here. My throat's starting to get dry. Alright, much better. So, uh, we're just going to finish combining here. And then that way when we take the wagon over to unload it, we can just put the combine there. And, uh, and get the combine to unload at the same time and uh, get the last of this unloaded here up this a little bit here. Okay, and that is a wrap on the wheat harvest. We got 13 minutes left on the timer, so we're doing pretty good actually. sure if we're actually going to be able to fit both of these machines in here once. Might be a bit of a tight squeeze. And we're going to be driving over bushes. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah. Well, let's bring the tractor over here first. And then that'll help us determine where our combine's going to need to go. We may have to take the header off to get it to unload uh, while this is at the auger, because I'd like to do it while this is sitting at the auger. That way we don't have to move this uh, again. We just gotta. The only movement that we're gonna do with this is to take it back to the farm. And yeah, we'll just leave the uh, uh, 1206 here hooked to the. Uh, um, auger because all that we need to do for field work right now is spray Ooh, that's not going to work at all so we are going to have to move it uh, all that we have to do is spray and we can use the uh, 1175 to do that so okay let's get this guy started and get the pipe out get that to unload we'll just uh, we'll unload it fully I guess and then uh, we'll go grab that little bit that little 6,000 liters out of the combine and get that put into the bin as well and then we can get our combine cleaned up that's about the only thing that's dirty uh, at the moment our header might be a little bit dirty, but it's not enough that we need to wash it right now. Assuming that is assuming that the thing actually has dirt on it, which I can see that it does. Last 6,085 liters of wheat here. It is kind of neat though how uh, the machines in 17 react to windrows. The 
to actually kind of bump over them um, as you would in real life somewhat alright okay, this is empty now so we're going to pull this ahead this guy and we need to lift this up and get it folded oh the hook I see the hook appears when you fold it that makes sense okay so we got that and we'll raise this up and pull it ahead just a little bit here Back it on up and get it lowered down. We don't quite need it for a little while yet. Uh, it is going to be interesting to fill that other bin, though. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Not sure. Okay, so what do we got here for our ending amount? 77. Where did my notebook go? Hmm. Okay. 77,965. 77,965. Come on. Put up for me. 77,965. Okay. Yield in liters off of this. 77,965 liters. Okay, liters to bushels. 77,965, that's 2,212 point. Let's we'll round it up to 0 0.5. 2,212.5. 22, 12.5. Now, if we go back here. Um, I don't know if I did that as... Okay, it was 28 that I did my edge path. Uh, actually, I didn't need to come back in game because I have my sizes put down right here. Don't I? Yes. Uh, and we're going to do this using the acres, not the hectares, anyways. So, 2212.5 divided by 13. That is wow, roughly 170.2 bushels per acre. I said this was going to be a crazy yield. Crazy, unrealistic yield. But, anyway, that is our yield, so... Okay, so now, is there a bit of dirt on this thing already? Yeah, sheesh. So now we will go ahead and hop in here. And we're going to get this header put back onto the trailer. And uh, get our machines taken to the yard and this combine cleaned up. And we'll get our tractor hooked up to our sprayer and ready to rock for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we will spray our uh, soybeans and our corn of course we will have to fast forward some time first um, and get up to probably the first day of autumn or something like that uh, or we'll go I think we'll go to the last day of summer is when we'll do our spraying there Let's see do the flashers work yes they do Cool. I'm amazed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing into the yard. I'd say we can fill it up too, fuel it up too, but it doesn't really need fuel. And our header housing is riding on the ground, literally. That's really, really annoying there. 
kind of don't like how don't okay I don't like how that's like that there we go I don't know why words are so hard today <laughs> So what I wonder is now that uh, this grass is fully grown, like now having the flowers and everything, I wonder if uh, if it would produce even more. Uh, kind of curious about that. Uh, this gum I would just about fit in the garage, I think. So we're just going to whip this thing around here and shut our hazards off. We're not on the road anymore. We're going to run over a couple of chickens in the process here. And we'll just park that right there until we harvest our soybeans. Go ahead and grab this pressure washer. Get this thing looking all nice and shiny again. Grab our pickup here. And we can basically just leave this hooked on to the header because we're not going to need this for anything between now and uh, harvest. So it can just stay hooked on. I guess if anything, it's not that hard to unhook this trailer and uh, you know, go hook onto something else if we need to. We're just going to pull it right there. And then we got to take this thing back yet, and then we are done. There is a little bit of dirt on this tractor, but I'm not going to worry about it see a little bit here on the cab but it doesn't bother me much it's just gonna get dirty instantly anyways because we're gonna be using it to spray I mean I guess it wouldn't get that dirty but I don't think it'd get fully dirty off of that I could be wrong of course it may it'll probably get fairly dirty and don't want to hit the dog See if we can squeeze this wagon between the combine and our fuel uh, tank there. Should be able to, yes. Okay, and we'll drop that there. Head on over here and pick up our sprayer. Yeah, it actually is going to work a little better on this tractor than it does on the uh, 1206 there. Kind of fits this tractor a little better. Okay, and it is full, so perfect. Alrighty, uh, that is going to do it for today. Um, got our harvest all finished up. Tomorrow we will, uh, well actually, let's just go ahead here right now. Uh, let's first save the game, just because. And then we're going to fast forward a few days here. Uh, we're going to go to day nine of summer. Peterbilt on sale. Oh, uh, great demand for corn, great demand for wood chips. We don't need any of those things. We don't need a Peterbilt for anything. And we don't have any corn or wood chips to sell, so... Uh, great demand at Pioneer Grain for wheat. What is the price? 374. Yeah, Mississippi Grain is paying more for that. So we're going to day 7 now. We are in late summer here. Let's just go to our growing here so we are in the last growth stage 
So we might be able to harvest our wheat. Uh, oh, our corn is ready. Or just about ready, I guess. It's probably on the last stage. No? Corn is... Oh. It just looks ready. Uh, great demand for wood chips. For barley. Neither of which we have. And besides, we're going to be waiting until winter to do anything with that anyways. Okay, so our beans are 57%, our corn is 71%. So we are good to go to take care of some fertilization. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.